I think it's every kid's dream that plays hurling and football to, to someday wear the county jersey. I was lucky enough, I played with Tape for a couple of years. I moved up to Dublin for work and I threw my lot in with Dublin. I was lucky enough to get a call off Anthony Daly and I said I'd, I'd take that chance. Paul Keeney lays it off quickly, powers right out of wire. And that is over the crossbar. Dublin last won the Leinster Championship. Leinster final 2013 was a massive breakthrough for us, but I think the, the league final 2011 was the first time that the Dublin hurlers uh, just experienced a little bit of success. And I suppose it's only in years to come when I'm looking back at it and saying, you know, it was really special to be part of that. I'm very lucky. I consider myself the luckiest man alive to be doing what I'm doing. I'm here with a man I know well. I had to grab him, he was walking by, but uh, he needs no introduction, Liam Rush. Where do you see today going? I'd say it's Kilkenny's to lose again. Um, Galway have copied their style and uh, they're handling it well, but I think Kilkenny are masters and I think they'll come out on top again. JP McManus, from your point of view, unfortunately Limerick aren't there, but who would you support today? Sure, listen, I come here as a neutral supporter, uh, you know, and I don't really. One side of me would like to see Galway winning, and the other side of me, I have such great admiration for Kilkenny, how they handled the team, and Brian Cody, I'm a great admirer of his, so, you know, the best to look to them both. I'm here with Kieran Joyce, centre back on the victorious uh, Kilkenny team today. Um, delighted for you. Um, congratulations. How do you feel about that? Oh, great, Ryan. Uh, listen, we were, we were down at half time there. We had to go back in, rally around. Uh, Galway had a big push us there just before half time. They, they started dominating, break a the ball there for a while. So we knew we had to grit our teeth and get back into it in the second half. And uh, we clawed back the the deficit and, and we built up a bit of a lead and we managed to hold on to it. Here we are after directly after the game standing outside Crow Park and we're after bumping into the legend, the Kilkenny legend, Pat Henderson. How, well, what, do you, what do you make of that? I think it was a tremendous day for Kilkenny hurling in the sense that we fought today. This is one of the All-Irelands we had to dig very deep to win. We met a tremendous Galway team, looked at half time that they had it all going for them. But I think whatever Cody did at half time, we got the best out of them. Martin Rowan, I'm from Williamstown, County Galway. Right, and looking at today's game, where was it won, where was it lost? Uh, I think Kilkenny just squeezed, they, they squeezed up their, their defence and pushed the Galway half forward line way up the pitch, so what could you do? You have to get goal, you have to score from near the goals at least. I can sense a disappointment in your voice. I oh, know, I'm not disappointed. This has been the best year of my life. We've had 11 wonderful halves and one bad half, so it's been magic all That's year. But. As the crowd is dispersing around Crow Park, I happened to bump into the one and only Nicky Brennan, former president, former GA, icon, selector, you name it, he's done it. Look, you say Richie Hogan had to come off. What a man to bring on in Richie Power. The same, Jackie Tyrrell didn't start the game. Shane Prendergast had a lot of doubters. He stepped up and he was counted today. Yeah, I suppose that's one of the great things about Brian Cody and Brian Cody's time. He's brought in some new players. It's Cody's ability to make the changes that the rest of us can't see, and, and we maybe are wondering why it's done. But I don't think we need to. We, we should know before now, before now, that we shouldn't be wondering on any of Brian Cody's moves because they tend to work. Will he do it again next year? Ah, you don't know. Look at it. Next year is next year, and uh, and right now I'm not a betting man, but I'm sure if there's any bookies open this evening, they probably have them down as favourites, and uh, hard to blame them. GAA, be there all the way.